Hold on to your butts, Marvel fans. We've got a new Phase 4 slate announcement, including when you will actually see Black Widow and how the rest of Phase 4 has been impacted. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button and let's get right into this crazy news. This is breaking just within the last hour or two, depending on when you see this video. But yes, indeed, Disney and Marvel Studios have made a bunch of decisions about Phase 4. They have pushed a bunch of stuff back. I want to break that down. I also want to shout out executive producer Bill M. Bill was the first person to put this news on my radar, and I checked it out over at MCU Cosmic. Jeremy Conrad's breakdown of it is right here. I'm going to Go through the dates right now, and then we'll talk about what this means. First of all, Black Widow is being pushed to November 6th of 2020 this year, but that will be the only official MCU movie coming out this year. Eternals is being bumped to next year, February 12th, 2021. Then Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings is being pushed back to May 7th in 2021. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is pushed all the way to November 5th of next year in 2021. Thor Love and Thunder is pushed to February 18th in 2022 and it will be joined by two other now Phase 4 movies or seemingly Phase 4 movies in Black Panther 2 which is going to be coming out May 8th 2022 and Captain Marvel 2 which will come out July 8th 2022. Now Jeremy notes in his article here that that Black Panther date is likely a typo as the 8th is a Sunday and it'll probably be May 6th but you know you still get the idea. Now, a couple of things to sort of point out with this new schedule before we get into what this means, what, what we think is going on here. So, first of all, there's no Spider-Man film on this slate that is technically a Sony movie. They have to figure out when they're going to slate that. Now, they did recently just push back their October 8th film of next year. They pushed that film back off the slate completely. Uh, I assume the Spider-Man movie will come out sometime next year, maybe late in the year in 2021, uh, maybe you know close to November, uh, before November, maybe into December or something like that. So we don't know what's going on with the next Spider-Man movie, but the MCU is chugging along with its current dates. Also important to note, there is still an October 2022 release date that nobody's talking about. It is a Marvel movie. Could be a crazy MCU film, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. Now, obviously, this is a big freaking deal. Many of you out there, whether you were commenting on videos or hanging out with us at the live streams, 10 a.m. every day, Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, over on our live streaming channel. You should definitely check it out. But yeah, many of you were of the mind that they were not going to be putting Black Widow onto streaming services. You were you were very uh, firm in that belief. And actually, a few of you even suggested that everything will just get punched back, that basically Black Widow's release date will go to the Eternals release date. The Eternals will then push forward to the Love and Thunder release date and, and all of that, right? So it looks like, yes, all of the Marvel movies just kind of slid, right? They just all kind of slid. So all of the films kind of sliding into their uh, respective predecessors or... What the hell am I trying to say? Look, they slid in dates. You know what I'm saying. Now, as far as Disney Plus is concerned, no word on that yet. Now, this is all breaking. This is breaking stuff. So make sure you check back to the channel. We'll have updates if we do get information about the Disney Plus stuff. I assume much of that stuff is going to be delayed as well. First of all, much of it's being delayed for the same reason as the films. There's just no way they can finish the product, right? So it's probably going to be delayed. But on top of that, a lot of the MCU stuff is supposed to tie very neatly in to the film universe. That whole universe from the films to Disney Plus is supposed to be meticulously connected and figured out. So it's very doubtful that the MCU films all get delayed, but the Disney Plus movies or shows don't get delayed. They will likely be delayed as well. So now let's talk about like kind of just what I think about this, what it'll mean for content on the internet and just what Marvel fans should expect. I mean, first of all, I think you're not likely to see any trailers for Eternals or anything like that anytime soon. Okay, so on the negative side of this, the buzz for all of this stuff is going to die down, pretty much grind to a halt for a long period of time. But that's to be expected. That's happening pretty much with everything around the world right now. Uh, it is kind of a bummer. I won't lie to you. Uh, we still have plenty of stuff that we're going to be doing here at the channel, things that we're going to be talking about and time to make theories um, on the more positive side of things I think the final product that we get will end up being very very good and perhaps even better than it would have been before more time to polish more time to develop more time to figure all of this stuff out what is interesting here is that of course this is 
completely tragic and it's delaying everything. Nobody wants this to be happening. But it is interesting that it happened right at the beginning of a phase, right? So it's not as though we are like partially into a phase. It's not like we partially have this thing figured out and we're looking for the next piece of the puzzle. We haven't even gotten into the puzzle yet. So on the one hand, even though it is a delay, it's kind of good that the delay is happening right now canonically. We just got over Endgame. Looks like we're just going to have even more of this time period that we had that was essentially a big break from the MCU figuring out what was going on with Endgame. Now, the universe will start back up right then and there, and then we'll, we'll go along. And what's also really crazy about this is there's going to be so much freaking content coming out between the shows and between the movies. We're just going to be bam, 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 hitting all of this stuff. This also gives a sort of interesting opportunity where a lot of the licensing agreements and the things that were kind of holding Marvel back from, let's say, using mutants or let's say using the Netflix characters or even using new versions of the characters from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Inhuman show when it comes to the royal family. The time on those contracts is still going to be moving. So essentially, slight things could be changed in the MCU properties that we have now to bring more things in like the X-Men, to bring more of the characters in from the Netflix shows like a Punisher, a Daredevil, Daredevil or a... Jessica Jones, holy sh**, I almost lost it there. But you see what I'm saying? So there's actually more interesting opportunities and things that can happen within the content once we get to it. So of course, it's a big bummer. It's gonna be a huge delay, you know what I mean? Like this is, it's gonna be a very interesting time for uh, MCU fans and MCU channels and MCU blogs and all those sort of things, right? Uh, it's gonna be weird. But at the end of the day, there's still a silver lining here. We haven't started the phase. Once we get going, things are going to be very crazy. And there's opportunity now to sprinkle in more stuff that might have been off limits because of a time constraint, right? And when it comes to the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, they're going to have all the time they need to now figure that out. Now, make no mistake about it. I think they were hard at work, and I think Feige had a plan. But if anybody was worried about the, the time crunch, and the simple fact was they already had a lot of stuff planned. Remember Feige said, I believe it was at San Diego Comic-Con or at D23 that they already had the next five to six year big overarching plan for Marvel figured out before the Fox purchase, right? So now that the Fox purchase is here, they have more time now to figure out how to make that all fit together. So there's good and there's bad, but that is the official news out there, guys. Breaking news. Marvel has pushed everything back in phase four black widow will not release digitally it will release theatrically later this year so of course let us know your thoughts about all of that and more in the comment section below and now let's shout out kevin cutter indeed sasquatch in marvel comics was a part of the team alpha flight Shout out to you, Kevin, and now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know, what is the name of Scott Summers' dad, and what team in Marvel Comics was he a part of? And I'll accept either his real name or his sort of superhero name, but let me know, what's the name of Scott Summers' dad in Marvel Comics, and what team was he a part of? If you absolutely need more nerdy content in your life, you can click or tap some of the videos over there or come by our live streaming channel where we do live streams every day, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like the video if you liked it or take your support to the next level. Join the list of awesome people below and check out our Patreon. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.